Hi guys and welcome to your, okay. What aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Hello Libra. This is going to be as the thumbnail indicated from the 10th through the 16th. We're going to go ahead and do a condensed version of what didn't they tell you last week? What could have been influencing their energies? Anything that you need to, um, to know about myself and how to get in contact with me for a reading will be below. As I stated to you guys, I'm using the same order as I used for the last time we voted. Okay, and we're going to keep that order. In um, honor of switching up the deck, we're going to be doing just that. This is the Muse Tarot. Keep in mind, all of the kings have been replaced with muses, okay? I will tell you what the equivalent is, and I will have a brief little snippet below. Not that bad. The explanation is the same, okay? We're going to go ahead and get into what they didn't tell you for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam, bam. We're going to be getting one answer is simple oracle at the end. Um, we're going to be asking, what's the answer? Not the angel answer to roll, but the answer is simple. And seeing how that plays into your reading. If you need to get in contact with me again, everything you need from me is below. And let's get started. Show me, spirit. What didn't they let Libra know from the 10th through the 16th? First card out is the Queen of Emotions. That is the equivalent of a Queen of Cups. Okay, so somebody's in there feeling. Show, oh, okay. We're going to take these five card reading, guys. What fell out is the Two of Voices. That's the equivalent of the Two of Swords, Libra. Okay. We also have the Sun in the Heart of the Matter. Look at that beautiful card. We also have... The seven of materials, which is the um, the equivalent of the seven of pentacles. And what's our last card, spirit? Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. In the six of inspiration, which is the six of wands. Okay. Top of the deck is the three of inspiration, which is the equivalent of the three of wands. So right now your person is definitely feeling some sort of way about the emotion that is going on or something that has went on in this relationship. Um, at the same time, they're in their fields right now. This two of swords lets me know that they can be actively blocking something out or not trying to feel the emotions that they feel. Because when we are in that queen of cups energy, that queen of cups right here, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy is the type of energy that will hold back. Um, they always talk about the queen of cups like that. Um, I know as a cancer son, um, yes, if a individual that is exhibiting this energy, I'm not saying that you Libra are connecting with water, but if this isn't a, a situation where someone is in their fields, then right now they are actively trying to block that out because they just don't want you to know. Um, and yes, that is. Very, very similar to the way that a queen of cups can act if she feels slighted. But, you know, every combination is a little bit different. So, you know, when we start talking about trying, when we couple that energy with the two of voices or the two of swords, we're really talking about Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. And that's talking about blocking emotions. Um, and and what one of the things that they're trying to hide is the fact that you really do make them happy. You really, really do make them happy. And they're in their feels about it. We're going to clarify like we normally do. Um, and they're reassessing with the seven of materials, which is the equivalent of the seven of pentacles. They're reassessing. This is coming out. Venus retrograde energy is here. This is coming out everywhere. Every type of energy is reassessing. Every type of zodiac sign is in the situation where they're just sitting back like, you know, what is going on? How do I properly reassess? Where do I put my energy? 
I've already planted these seeds. Mentally, where do I go? Where, which, which one of these plants do I invest in? I've already planted the seeds. When we start talking about the six of inspiration, which is the equivalent of the six of wands, they do feel like they can have something with you. They do see a certain type of success. When we're talking about the happiest card of the Tarot and, and the sun energy, and we're talking about the fact that they're trying to block how much they really do love you, that says it all. When we're talking about this three of wands having to dig deep, this person doesn't communicate well. They don't want you to know some things, which is interesting. Um, and I want to find out why they're blocking themselves, why they're blocking, letting you know just how happy you make them. Right now, they are in reassess mode. There could have been something that went down between you guys. That's what we're going to figure out right now. Right. Please clarify the six of I'm sorry, the queen of emotions that give your relationship a chance. Um, there is an energy here that someone, you guys need to work on the partnership. Maybe you broke up with them, Libra. They don't feel like you care. You put up some type of boundary. They don't feel like you care. Give your relationship a chance. They want to stay in ego mode. You could have put up a boundary and let them know if I don't get X, Y, and Z, we're not going to continue to go forward they got mad they pull something back the two of swords is being clarified by heart to heart conversations so far you guys are being guided to work on this partnership and talk about things which is exactly what they don't want to do right now they're currently discussing their friends with you discussing their friends with you discussing this relationship with the people that they trust their friends trying to get insight um on not only how to handle the situation and what should they do, Libra, but mainly <laughs> support for them because they mentally are really screwed up and don't know how to move forward right now. Clarify the seven of pentacles here, please. Remember, guys, if I get any type of, yes, trust. If I get any type of soulmate energy, if I get any type of energy um, where it's the king and the queen in the same suit, I will clarify with a sacred soulmate card. Trust is clarifying my seven of pentacles. So they're reassessing trust. There's something here that broke the trust. I don't see. I think it's really that you put your foot down in the situation, Libra, and stop playing these games with them. Yes. They're, they they really, this attraction card doesn't even begin to scratch the surface right now of that six of wands. Um, the success and the acclaim, they really do. It, this isn't, in this particular case, a physical attraction. I feel that they are attracted to the situation as a whole. Attracted to you and the situation. Okay. Top of the deck is the three of wands being clarified by free yourself. And that's exactly what they're trying to do. Honest God, right now, I do feel like that this energy a lot is with them alone. We're talking about needing to talk to you about giving your relationship a chance. We're talking about needing to speak upon a situation that is hindering them from being able to speak their peace. You put your foot down. It pissed them off. They felt like a victim. Yeah. Courts. Courts. Clarifying. Yeah, they got ties. They got courts to relationships of the past they have uncut cords of emotion that they need to free themselves from which is clarifying the queen of cups and give your relationship a chance clarify 
my two of swords and heart to heart conversation. Wow. Yes. The beliefs is what you guys don't agree on here. And emotions. You are connecting with a water sign, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They need to have a conversation with you about what they believe in. I feel hair fine energy is here. Also, I want to say to this point, they are so busy blocking things out. They're being guided to talk to you about what they're holding back. Clarify the sun and let your friends help you. They are currently actively getting wisdom from other people. Don't worry. When I see that, I'm always a little leery to tell you guys that because if you're, a lot of your friends don't know what the hell they're talking about. They only know the experiences of what they have experienced themselves thus far. So um, I'm happy to say that they are being honest with the people that they're talking to about you, Libra, and really letting them know how happy that you make them and they trust this person. So that's a good thing. Clarify the seven of pentacles and trust. They've been screwed over in the past. Yes, but unfortunately... They need to trust what they envision and they envision a life with you. And this is what they haven't been letting you know. Um, clarify the six of wands. They're attracted to, oh, three popped out. We're going to take all three of them. Again, they are attracted not necessarily just to you. It's deeper than that. They are attracted to the promise of you. They are, they see success with you, okay? Oh, and look what came out, success, okay? Clarifying the six of wands and attraction, trust. They can trust you. What, they're, what they got this trust about is commitment. The seven of pentacles is what they, the seeds that they have planted in the past. It goes back to this core from the past, Libra, it goes back to all of the things that they have experienced thus far. But when it comes down to on this side, the trust, they're trusting you. I don't think that they trust themselves yet. And it's not that they have stepped out for some of you guys they have. It's not that they're lying and cheating and have third party situations. It's just that commitment is a huge step. And they're afraid. So they're, they trust you. You've already made yourself trustworthy. They have to now trust in the commitment. Their beliefs here, like I said, is tied up into past emotions. Um, and they need to talk to you about how they've been hurt. Some of you guys, I got one more card too that I'm saving. Some of you guys, they haven't told you what happened in their past. They've held their past other than saying, my past is my past. Or getting very, what's the word? Getting very um, defensive about the past, which made you, at some point, you're like, okay, well, I don't understand what the big deal is. Typically, two people get together, they explain or exchange things. They, they haven't really, they probably told you that they gotten hurt, but they haven't given you 100%. You came along and you brought this. This is a love-soul connection. And that is what's clarifying this. You guys got three cards. I love this. All right. I love it. I love this for you. Okay. I don't even need to bring the hidden truth out. I'm going to go ahead. I mean, this is enough. Like, honestly, I would have brought that hidden truth out if this was being extended, but it's not. I'm going to go ahead and get an answer. It's simple. Um, oh, the three of wands, which is that exploring, wanting to be first, going into that explorative energy, there, which is being clarified by free yourself. There, that's also being clarified by be open. So they are being guided to let go of the past and stop penalizing you for things that you don't know. They're going to come to you and tell you how they feel. Give me one oracle card to get us out of here with the answer is simple. And they're being guided to get over themselves. Woo woo! The card of one. Get over yourself. So what they're holding on to, they're being guided to get over it. Um, I couldn't have said it better myself. Where is this card, this book? I'm not going to read the entire thing. 
The answer is simple. Start, the first step is to stop living your spirit weight. The first step to living your spirit is to get over yourself. They have to get over their ego. The time has come to be honest and stop the doom effort, okay? This is a huge ego thing for them. This seven of pentacles, guys, that I'm telling you about has a lot to do with ego. Um, this could not have been more, I'm telling you, more, it couldn't have been more on point. Psychologists call it your mask, okay? Alternatively, therapists identify it as pattern. Ask yourself, why am I not being authentic? They're not being honest with you about their true feelings. They're being guided to get over themselves. I'm going to leave it at that. This is the card of one that lets me know that everything starts with them. So in this Mercury and retrograde, they're going to be really trying to get over everything that I have told you about today, guys. Ultimately, they are in love with you. They have a soul connection with you, Libra. They know it. And at this point, they're working on being open. Okay. They're working, they're working on trusting. They know that this relationship is going to be successful. They envision you, okay, in their lives forever. They're talking to people that they trust, that, that have more wisdom than them on what to do. They're altering their beliefs about the situation, trying to cut cords of the past, and finally trying to get their emotions in check and that has been your reading like share and subscribe to the marvelous tribe this was excellent um this will not be extended this week i certainly hope it resonated with at least one libra out there i will see you guys here next week when we do it again please check channel two i am starting to put um videos up right now aries your video is up if you are connecting with an aries or have aries in your chart I highly advise you to go and check those three videos out. I have listed retro energy for March, April, and now May. See you later, Libra. Bye-bye.